probably not the beginning of an episode, but uh, this is Mark II, just in case. This is all I can think of as far as decorating for right now. I uh, have brought some uh, lapis blocks up, though, for future reference. And um, I'm going to be embarking on some more construction here in a minute, so let's go ahead and load up on, on that. I won't be needing these for a while. really didn't need to bring these up here. And that should do it. Got some uh, moss stone planned for that. But here we have, I uh, came up with the replacement for the, the ladders. They've been filled in and now we've been replaced with the uh, nether brick. A little work area here underneath this one and over underneath this one. We have a uh, little observation point, deep observation point. You can see the glass goes all the way up to the next level so we can observe out through here and, and take note of what's going on out there. And up here we have the windows on all the sides. And then outdoors, I've moved the, the doors so that they both open inward which is kind of more traditional with a door but it's actually I'm probably be better off doing it the other way because then even with the door closed I'd have a little airlock here. That's not the case. Uh, but it doesn't matter that much because uh, you can get in here and that's that's a little airlock. You can get air by just going next to the windows. Uh, I have put um, uh, jack-o'-lanterns at each corner as a marker. So if we go up and start swimming around, we can actually go fairly far. Let's see, I believe this is the direction towards the the nearby land. I did find some other nearby land. Yeah, that's that's it over there. A little piece of desert. And then there'd be a piece of uh, uh, jungle over in this direction. There it goes. And see, we can see the uh, we can see the uh, uh, secret laboratory from quite some distance, so we don't have to worry about getting lost as long as we don't go too far. I did stray off in this far direction the other day, and there's really, really not much anything out there. I got some clay. There was a little tiny island. I'm not even going to go out there. This island was like six blocks, just barely at the uh, at the surface. Let's see. We'll go to this. There's a a little spot here where you basically just just have your feet underwater. You can stand up. You don't have to swim. So let's go over here. I might be able to catch sight of that real tiny island from from this direction here. Okay, yeah. So from here you're in the water but not not really having to swim, so that's like just one block below. Uh, no, I can't quite see that other island from here. It really isn't worth going to see it. It's just a tiny little speck some grass blocks, nothing there. Probably a good place for mobs to spawn. I haven't gone out in any of these other directions. Probably wait until I get around to building a boat, which is pretty much uh, related to the next uh, the next prog project, which is going to be to go ahead and bring it on up to the surface, and we'll build a, a surface level. Of course, there's not going to be much, uh, not much space at all between um, the uh, this one and and the surface. It'll just be uh, a few blocks. We can actually measure that at this point if we wanted to. So why not? Let's see. We have uh, wall two, three, four, wall. I think. Yeah, that's probably about right. So let's 
let's just uh, four blocks. That's it. It's four blocks to the surface. So that's not going to be much of a, uh, a construction project there. We'll build a little tube that goes up four blocks and then that'll widen out from, from this point to be initially the same size as the uh, is that portion of the laboratory and um, uh, maybe we'll make it bigger so I want to have some kind of transportation going to the uh, uh, the desert area off, off to that direction it's right over there you can see it if you don't look straight at it kind of like avert your eyes sort of situation there uh, and at any rate, um, we do that. I probably might build like a train, a uh, minecart railway going over there and, uh, and build a little small port. Oh, there it is. Build a little small port over there or at the jungle and kind of a small, uh, small little piece of civilization. But uh, for now, uh, I'll be considering what I want to do for uh, additional decoration down here on the inside because I don't want it to be totally uh, barren. It's still fairly much a big empty space. I built a little stair there. So it makes it a little easier to get in. Shut the door, keep the squid from coming in. And that's pretty much where we're at right now. So probably next time uh, we'll have the beginning platform above water. And for now we have um, these observation points here and over here and this one of course which goes down because that's very deep. And of course over in this direction is where we have uh, dirt piled up, dirt and debris piled up against the side of the uh, of the building. So here we are with a uh, Sun setting slowly in the west, deep beneath the ocean, in a secret laboratory. Uh, we'll see you in probably about a second or, or maybe a week, depending on where this ends up. Thanks for watching. I'll be back in about a second or a week. Who knows? Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do to get us uh, to the next level, which will be sea level. Matter of fact, I think maybe that's a good name for this this particular uh, uh, episode here. Where am I going? Okay, there we go. All right. Now, let's first of all get all of these up. Okay, I'm going to continue. I will be right back in about one second. It's a relatively clear night far out at sea. Go over here. I think we can see land. Maybe it's over here. Anyway, there is land out there somewhere. But it's dark and it's nighttime. And now we have a cobblestone tube going up. And what we have here is the need to get all of that water out of there. I've put down some jack-o'-lanterns for, for light. And of course we'll be using the same method we used before, gravel. And then we'll go down and remove all the gravel and that'll displace the the water and then we will have a dry tube and then we can complete part of this now what's going to happen here I'm going to come out with this and then start building up another uh, large size chamber here and that'll be the uh, the sea level uh, dock portion of the secret laboratory which is uh, deep beneath the ocean and sticking up into the ocean 
and this point sticking a little bit out of the ocean. So I will come back when um, when I've got that done because that's going to be doing this over and over again for that whole volume there. Uh, I inadvertently put some blocks there. Well, I think it, I'll have to move those anyway. Be back in about one second. Okay, we got this whole thing uh, dewatered, and it's lit up because now we've got a uh, potential mob spawning situations at night. And here I am down in this pit. And guess what? I don't have any uh, ladders, and it's raining. So, actually, you always have a ladder as long as you have some gravel with you or something. So here we are. This is the uh, top of it lit up so that there's no uh, problem with mob spawning. And what's going to happen here is I'm going to put up, um, actually I may as well do it now. I'm going to put up uh, some of this mossy cobble uh, right around at the water line to uh, kind of suggest that uh, this is at the edge of the water. So that'll be for this level. And uh, I will have a little bit of a, um, I don't know, maybe I'll build a jetty out or something, but I do want to leave um, the central part of it, like three in the middle. Which one would that be? So let's see, this is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so two, three, so here, right in front of this guy. That's the end of it. I think that's the way that goes. So this should be uh, from this guy. There, one, two, three. Yeah, so that works out. Okay, and then we'll skip three. One, two, three, and there we go. Okay. Is that three? Eight. That sounds about right. Eight and eight. And this is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so 16, that's 19. And that's the correct size. It's 19 by 19, which we inherited from the, uh, the first level of the, uh, of the branch mine. And these other ones I don't want... Um, I don't want uh, any jetties on the other side. There's not any point in it because the land's over that way. You can just kind of barely see it. So there's not much point in having one um, over here. Uh, this just goes out into open ocean. And what exploring I've done, there's just not a lot of land in the near vicinity. It's hard. To, we don't know at this point if that land over there is a giant continent or... Uh, if it's just a tiny little island, then there's nothing else for, for thousands of blocks. We don't know that. We could look up in the wiki. It tells us how big the uh, ocean biome can be. And they, they can be fairly big. So uh, we might be in the middle of nowhere. We just have a couple of tiny islands nearby. Uh, that's okay, though, because one of them has jungle and there's some trees there. And we do need wood. And uh, almost out of mossy cobble. Okay, so what does that look like from out here? Yeah, and then we'll have probably as we um, as we build the next level up. We might have uh, a few, for example, that are, uh, do I even have, I used up almost all my cobblestone building this that I had with me. And I have like uh, cobblestone, there's cobblestone, 
and uh, you know some moss stone and then some more cobblestone and maybe a little piece of moss over there in the corner but this isn't going to be totally filled in with uh, with stone or with with any kind of stone here the same deal here we'll kind of have a, a little bit of not exactly alternating, but some sparse moss up into the next level. Okay. Let's see how that looks from afar. Uh, that kind of looks looks okay. Uh, we'll work with it a little bit. Got the uh, that level down there, and. Um, That should be good. Uh, like I say, we're going to have some glass, though. Uh, running along here, we'll have, this will all be, the bottom level is the way it is. And um, get up here and probably put some torches up here. In the, um, The next level here is going to have some windows or openings. They may not necessarily be glass. Could potentially leave them open air, like this one here. Could stay open as a uh, an opening. This will. I don't know if we'll have any kind of door here or not. Maybe, maybe not. It depends. Uh, I'll have to wait and see what it looks like. But anyway, at this point, um, it's a matter of finishing up the connection so that we get up in here because obviously we're going to have stairs spiraling up here up to this level and um, we're going to have to break through and I have an idea of how I want to do that and I will be back once I have accomplished that which might take a little while because I'm running very low on, on supplies here. I'm we'll seeing about one okay, second. we've got a fair amount of progress now. Let's go ahead and uh, and document this at this point. On this level, of course, this is uh, the sub level beneath the uh, the ocean floor. When we have our observatory here, we uh, proceed up to the uh, the ocean floor level. And now we have uh, these stairs here on either side. This is symmetrical, and that leads up to the uh, the next chamber, which is the um, uh, spiral chamber, similar to the great spiral, but this one is much shorter. Uh, it's just a little taller than a normal room. I think it might let's see one, two, three, yeah, one, like one block higher than a a typical room would be. Uh, Got the big hole in the floor and the ceiling. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, and here's the stairs going up using the patented um, system with the landing at the corners. And then we come up here, and we do not have a roof yet. Uh, we do have our little jetty, and this I believe was all up here except uh, now we have the um, the big hole in the middle of the floor which will be part of a significant experiment there. Let's see all the way down. That's bedrock down there with a little torch in it. Don't want to step off. Even with my feather falling four boots, that would be a, a long fall at this point. But anyway, this is where we are here. Uh, next step will be finishing up this level and um, and then uh, we will, I'm not sure uh, if I'll continue on upward right away or not. I might want to go ahead and establish uh, a route over to the, uh, the land, which, uh, you know, <laughs> because of the way it renders, you can only see it if, I, if I'm looking away from it. You look straight at it, you don't see it over there on the left. The um, and then somewhere out here, there's uh, you can go out and see it. As a matter of fact, there's some um, jungle trees, some kind of a forest over here in this general direction. 
or is it the other direction? I don't know. I think it's over here. There it is. Yeah. Haven't been to any of that yet. Tempting to go see, isn't it? We could go see how far it goes. No, nah, let's not. But there's that. That's starting to take shape. And uh, there's a lot of squid. Very important for scientific observations. Look at them. They all point in nearly the same direction, most of them. Except for the uh, the bohemians. They, they pointed in a different direction. Okay. At some point, I'm going to have to figure out a... Uh, an elegant way to make these stair drops safe. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, but because um, as it is on some of these floors, you can uh, uh, find yourself falling down in the uh, falling down the stair. Like here, for example, if you're coming around the other way, uh, you can fall down there. I think I need to put some kind of a safety device there just because it's inconvenient but anyway uh, for now I'm gonna uh, put this aside I need to see what kind of resources I have left and try and figure out how I'm going to um, exploit the newfound um, access to sea level see you next time. I don't think this is the end of the episode. If it is, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, even if it's not the end of the episode, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. And um, and we'll see you in about a second or, or a week or however long it ends up being. Till then, bye-bye. <laughs>